Hello YouTube, we are back for, I believe this is installment three of Joe from Black Box Silver and Bronze Adventure Comics. So, what are we doing in this upload? Well, last upload what we did was we put the book in the humidity chamber. So let's see how it looks. It actually feels pretty good. It's been in overnight. Let's take out the straws, just like this. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna press the book. That's what our next goal is. So we have one more straw in the book. Let's take it out, there we go. Let me put the book to the side. And we are going to get going with pressing this book and making it as best as possible. So it does feel nice and filled with moisture by me just taking it out just like that. So let's move the tub out of the way so we can start the process. I'll put it to the side here. And let's put the book where the camera can see it and then we'll get going now as you can see there is some waviness that reverted because of the humidity and that's fine i have no issue with that but what we want to do is we want to set it up and put it in my book binding press but in order to do that we are going to do it in a sandwich format. What does that mean? Well, just like when you use a hot press, people use different forms of sandwiches in order to press the book. I do the same. And even though it's a book binding press, the procedure is very similar. So what we have here is my shelving unit. Next I'm going to put, this is a plastic film, very thin smooth plastic that I use for leaf casting. I just put it over the shelving unit just like that. Then right here is I have a piece of, Rame this is not Rame, this is Holly Text. Very important. Polytext is a little bit stronger, not stronger, I take that back. It is thinner and a lot smoother than when you deal with Rame because Rame is thicker. So Polytext is used when you actually do leaf casting because it gives it a smoother finish. So right here is the back cover. I have thick paper. This is not boards or backboards. I don't like to use backer boards when I press the books because what may happen is the backer boards may wreak, wreak havoc on the staples because it's thick. So I like to use heavy stock paper in order to press the book. We are going to use a magazine board for the center though, because, or a golden age board, just like this, because the golden age board is big enough to come outside of the book. So we want to find the center fold. Let me take a look here. So there it is. There's the center fold. And I just place it nicely, just like this. And then we'll close it. You don't want to put it meanly. And then we have a thick piece again of paper, very thick cardstock. And then we're going to put this behind the cover just like this, just like this. 
And then what I want to do is I want to put a piece of Holitex on top, just like this. Before I do that, I want to shoot the top cover and I know it's been in the humidity chamber, but I just want to give it a little blast from my steamer. And that's why the Holly text will work well because it will prevent sticking. I don't like to put cardboard or back of boards or any type of paper on the cover when the cover has humidity or it's a little damp because I don't want to run risk that there'll be some color transfer or color lift. And that is why I like to use the Holitex to give it a nice format to press on because it's nice and smooth. So here we go, here's some steam, very little. Let's see, is it coming out? There we go. Just a little steam, nothing major. And I see right here, there was a rip in the front of the book at the spine. That was there when I got it. And what I want to do with that is after pressing it the first time in the book binding press, I may in fact do it where we're going to do a technique where I'm going to wrap around parchment paper in order to round that rip. And I've done this before and it will make it look a lot better in my opinion. So we're going to put the piece of Holitex on top just like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the plastic film like this over to give it a nice flat surface. Then we're gonna put my second shelving unit on, just like this. And now I'm gonna get the book binding press ready. So hang on, I'm gonna change the camera angle so you can see me put it in and dial down with the book binding press. I'll be right back. Okay guys, here is the book binding press right here. And I already have a first wrap in the book binding press with two shelving units. This is Mike Night Tiger's book that's in here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can fit, I believe I can, two sets of shelving units. So I'm gonna just put this right on top, just like this and we're gonna slide it in. So we have two sets of books in it, and I'm gonna see if we can wrench down on it, and we can. So there we go. So I really like to wrench down as tight as possible, and that's it. So the pressure is on. <clears throat> the pressure is on. We're not going to get any better. And in fact, sometimes what I do is I have a, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I have a vice grip right here and I'm gonna squeeze down on the sides, just like that. And what we're gonna do is we'll do the other side as well. And I believe I done this before in the past. The more the pressure, the better. So I'm gonna wrench down on these shelving units on the side and let's see if I can get it tighter now. Nope, that's the tightest it's gonna go. So right there is our situation. We have it nice and tight. And the next upload, what I'll do is hopefully we'll be finished. And once we're finished, Maybe I'll do, I, I know I will, I'll do a before and after, but I may still have to round that spine, like I said, and I think I'm going to have to do that. So what I'll do is I'll keep the book in the book binding press 
for overnight, another 15, 16 hours, maybe a little bit longer, I'll do it, depends, I'll check and I'll put it back and I'll do an adjustment. So it's a slow process. So I hope you enjoyed the upload. Give a thumbs up if you did. Thank you and stay.